Shalom and good day, all. This is Tehillim29 back again for another comic, trade, and manga haul for the third week of April 2023. And let's get moving into where I get my comics from, and that is through my LCS All Star Comics in Australia. And if you happen to live in Australia, definitely check them out. And um, here's a discount code connected to their website. So if you happen to be interested in um, purchasing anything from there, um, go to their website, All Star Comics. And don't forget to put in the discount code and you'll get 10% off everything you buy. You do get a little bit extra if you happen to be um, on a order list. Uh, then we move into the manga that I picked up for this week. And I have Barefoot Gen. And this is the whole collection. Uh, volumes 1 to 10. Um, hopefully I'll try to work on getting volumes 1 to 10 of Lavius. Um, plus a couple of others that I have in mind. And um, one of the reasons I actually got this series is that... Um, I learned that it was actually banned in uh, Japanese classrooms, so I thought, okay, this might be worth checking out and uh, seeing what I think of it, and does it deserve to be banned? <laughs> okay, some Tatsuki Fujimoto. Um, so getting to know a little bit more about the creator of Chainsaw Man, plus some um, Fire Punch. So... This is another thing that I'll be working on getting, or working on reading through. Then we have Mission Yazakura Family, Kimono Jihen with the character of Akira on the page. Of course, we have some terrible writing by Brian Michael Bendis, which only serves as an example of how not to write DC characters. My receipt, of course. We also have Tokyo Revengers, and I must admit, I have actually come to really enjoy this series. I'm glad we're up to volume five of the series now, of the Omnibus. And last but not least, some Blue Lock, uh, which is really nice to read something from a creator who personally enjoys, well, soccer. And this is this passionate story around something soccer related now moving into the rest of the comics that i picked up for this week and starting off with house of slaughter and static uh, to which they won't be reviewed this week on the channel but i will be moving on to the ones that i will be moving into reviewing this week on the channel so starting off with the dawn of dc Superboy, The Man of Tomorrow. Of course, we have Superman by Joshua Williamson. Nightwing, World's Finest by Mark Wade. Really enjoying what he's putting out there. And of course, The Flash, which has the Super Suns, to which I think with this review um, that has the Super Suns appearance, um, it'll probably drop into the Super Suns. Um, Fortress of Attitude category this week only because of their appearance and it's really nice to see them meeting up with members of the Flash family. So what else will I be reviewing? All right so we've got some indie titles and we've got Street Fighter Masters, Cammy, one of the British agents that also works with Chung Lee through Interpol. So I'm really looking forward to reading through that story and reviewing it on the channel. We have Hitomi. Um, I recently finished um, getting a review up for Hitomi um, issue 4. Um, I think it's in the backlog of the channel, set to be scheduled. So I should be able to put that up alongside with this one this week. Uh, we also have Rogue Sun. 
absolutely incredible st series by Parrot. And last but not least, Pandora by Frank Miller. And some good news, it won't be long until issue three of uh, book two of Ronan will be coming out. Now, seeing that we've got Flash 797 here, uh, hopefully in next week's haul, 796 will turn up. And when it does turn up, what I'll do is I'll try to get 796 up before 797 goes up on the channel. So I'll try to find a way. Um, this will probably go up... Um, my friday here in australia which will quite likely be your thursday if you happen to live in the us um so this will probably be an individual review uh whilst a couple of these dc ones plus a couple of the um indie comics will also be put together in one review well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.